Northern Woody here. I've just got my parts back from the paint. And yeah, I just wanted to show you before I fit them. Um, <clears throat> kind of nervous about fitting them, but uh, I'll probably do that soon. And I'll have a vlog of the bike back with all the painted parts now. The guy who did it for me, he doesn't really want to do it again. <laughs> he did it at mates rates. Um, so if anyone wants to know where I got him painted, um, it's a secret. Ha ha ha, suffer. So no one else is going to get the same paint because um, realistically the, the price he did them for was virtually half price. Um, <clears throat> most people would probably charge about two grand. It doesn't look like a lot of money in parts but um, it was under a grand. I'm not going to tell you exactly how much it was. Um, a bit of change from a grand but uh, that's it. So, um, it's a lot of work going into it. It's actually the original Harley Davidson colour. He managed to get the code and he actually did it to the exact colour that came out of the factory. And I just wanted to update the vlog and just show you the parts that I've got done. So pretty soon it'll be coming together. Um, once it's back together obviously then I'll do a vlog on the motorbike just before I get it running because I've still got to do a few things yet. Um, I've got to replace the oil lines for the tank because they're all <coughs> hard and brittle and I don't want to risk scratching these new parts. Um, he had a bit of a job with the, the rear guard. It, it's not exactly a perfect job as far as work, body work on it because it actually had people have fucked with it. It's had welds done on it. It's, you can see in certain light where there's imperfections, but you know what? <clears throat> the paint is absolutely beautiful to look at. Um, you'd have to be pretty picky. I mean, like I said before, it's not a show bike. Um, but it looks pretty, pretty damn good, I think. So anyway, um, I've got to get a new cap from the tank um, just to finish it off. But I mean, you can see how shiny that is. That is like the gloss on it is unreal. It's got a nice speckle to it. It's a nice metallic. I don't know if you can see it when I hold the camera up, you can actually see it sparkle. There it is. Um, it's actually a fantastic. So, anyway, that's the vlog. I'll shut it off for now, but that's basically it. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one. Alright, well, let's see if this thing starts. Eh? That phase. Yeah. We're going to give it a go and see what happens. Wish me luck, guys. I wonder if it gets in the gear. <laughs> I think I have to up the idle a bit. She doesn't want to idle. But, ah. So there you go, guys, it's working. It started. Can't believe that. Like that was literally, that was on when I come out to crank it over. So that had not been started. So you saw it all here on Woody's channel. I finally got the thing going. Um, 
So I'm pretty excited about that. It has got a few little issues, but I expected that. I actually did not expect it to fucking start like that. Just like less than like 20 seconds it was running. Like it blew a big puff of black smoke out to start with, but after that, fucking, it is running sweet. Like it probably could do it up in the idle a little bit because it does conk out every now and again, but it's only got 91 fuel in it. Uh, that's what I got. It was just enough to get it really started. And so far, it doesn't look like there's any oil pissing out from anywhere, so that's always a good sign. Um, I, had, I bought an inline filter today, I just, because uh, um, there was a bit of shit in the tank and I did wash it out and flush it as best I could. Um, I also want to flush out that oil tank because the oil is like super black. Um, but what I'm going to do is take off the, the feed inline here um, and put it into a container just run up for a bit make sure I'm topping the oil up as I go and um, just to get all that shit out of it because you know it's probably got heaps of contaminants in the oil and really needs a good service flush out um, I've also got to put the battery in properly it's just a good little strap at the moment it's just basically the starter I just wanted to get it going and that I have succeeded um, got the brakes sorted out uh, as you'll notice, I've still got to get a proper thing, but that's just just for now, just to get it stop it from leaking um, because it doesn't have the membrane and it's got a little breather hole on the top of it, so that will piss all that out with um, fluid everywhere. Hence why I haven't got the front guard on yet because I want to make sure. But I ended up seeing a guy um, in Salisbury, uh, Rob's or Powerfield, Powerfield Gardens or Power Hills, actually Power Hills, um, Rob's motorcycle shop and um, he basically gave me a banjo fitting instead of the threaded because what happened was we um, got my mate Mike he made me a new piston for it because I thought that was the problem but when I um, put it back together I actually looked at the o-ring and um, it had been cut when I put it back on um, I must have um, the, the back of the piston didn't have quite enough of a chamfer on it and it's actually took a chunk out of the o-ring Hence why it was leaking, pissing out. So, so far, fingers crossed, it's working. It is a bit tight because the piston was a bit of a tighter fit. So I may still have to take it out um, and polish it down a bit just to get it to fit a bit looser. Um, but apart from that, it's like it's been a long time between vlogs on this machine. Um, Basically, I've, I've basically put it on the back burner for a little bit because I just, yeah, I needed to sort out the brakes and they were getting me down and I kind of didn't really have time um, to do it because of work and stuff. I just, not a thousand a day, unfortunately, and a lot of the places that I go to are shut during the weekend, so I've only been able, luckily I've been on holidays. The last week I've actually got my ass in the gear and got it back to normal and, got, you know, got everything sort of, fixed enough to be able to start it at least um, it's by no means ready to ride uh, the clutch is way out of adjustment I tried to put it in gear and it just clunked in there it's stalled um, I think yeah that's another thing so little little things along the way I'm gonna have to do but that's normal <laughs> like I'm just wrapped that I've actually got it back together and it's running like, and it starts pretty much every time. As soon as I turn the key on, bang, boom, off it goes. Um, and it sounds really lumpy, like that's just the way they are because they're old bike, old technology. But I'm just ecstatic that I got it working. Um, you don't understand how much of a bastard this thing's been to me. Um, just little shit things going wrong and nothing seems to be going right. When I put it on the jack stand, you can probably see the wires underneath there. I've got a, f I haven't got my soldering on, it's in my work car, I'm gonna get that back tomorrow. Uh, sorry, Tuesday. Um, so I'll be able to solder that and put proper connector in there and stuff like that. Um, and also on the back of the starter relay, um, the, this on the other side had snapped off um, one of these bloody cheapo fittings, uh, what do you call it, a little crimp connector, so they're a piece of shit, so I've basically just put it back <laughs> between two washers of wires, just clamped between two washers, just to get it started, I am going to do it properly, um, 
so there you go and the paint come up really nice on this thing it needs a clean because we've got fingerprints all over it but i managed to get the back guard on without scratching it the oil tank back on um, all the hoses i checked them they're a bit perished but i was able to chop like a section like that off of each piece and it was mainly this one i had to chop it back the width of that hose clamp there and uh, just to get and I managed to get underneath and actually pull a little bit more hose through so I had just enough um, so for now that'll do I'm not going to change that it doesn't seem to be leaking same as the push rods and the um, oil galleries they don't seem to be leaking um, time will tell obviously but this isn't an everyday bike it's going to leak oil they, they do <laughs> it's part of their character um, and that front wheel didn't that quite good eh? so I'm pretty happy I wanted to set out to get this working before I went back to work and it's running albeit a few things I've got to fix but you know that's the nature of the beast but super excited um, can't wait to actually get it to the point where I can take for a quick test drive um, just to see how it goes uh, yeah so we're getting there so the next vlog you see hopefully the front guard will be back on um, and she'll be ready for action um, yep so the uh, the project is well and truly on its way and time will tell and how it goes from here but um, <laughs> words I just don't have words I'm just you know it's it's Anyway, I'll shut up. The Northern Woody's just getting a bit fucking carried away. Um, but, you know, it's been a long journey. Um, and I think I'm going to crack open a coldie and just take in what's happened. And, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done for today. So, uh, thanks for watching. It's only a quick, short vlog, but I knew... I had to actually get on there because everyone's people have been asking how are you going with that sports deal so uh, yeah no news is good news i haven't done anything um i mean i when i say i haven't done anything i did i stuffed around with the brakes for ages trying to get it to work out where it was coming from and it ended up being by the looks of it just an o-ring which <sighs> should have checked that first but you know some of times you um you think no nah, it can't be that that was all done properly you know <laughs> Yeah, done properly. But anyway, it's done properly now. So, uh, but we're getting there. Um, it's gonna take a while to get it to this point where I can ride it, but one little step at a time, baby steps, and we'll get there. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. An update on the Sportster. It is running. I did take it for a quick spin, um, and she. The brakes were shocking, like scary. <laughs> um, but I've cleaned them up this morning. There was a lot of grease on them. I think they just when uh, when I was having issues with all the brake fluid leaking and stuff. Um, I think I had a fair bit of oil film on there, so I haven't taken it for a spin yet. It's not actually registered, and yes, she's starting to show her age. A bit of oil coming out of there. Ah, oh, no, me coffee. <laughs> Spilt me coffee. Actually, it's alright. It's in a it's in a uh, travel mug and luckily it was sharp but a little bit lost a little bit anyway <laughs> so yeah um now it does run um and i had it running just before we'll give you a bit of a demo because it has sat now for 10 minutes so it probably won't start just because I will take it out for a ride. It's not registered at the moment, so obviously I've taken it for a ride on private property. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, but as you can see, she's running. Um, sounds really nice. Starts first pop once it's warmed up. Um, Obviously, yeah, everything works on it. If I uh, turn the headlight on, the 
rear brake comes on. So, anyway, as you can see, she runs nicely. She blows a bit of smoke, uh, but so do I. <laughs> it's uh, not quite as old as me, which is sad because it's a really ancient machine, and that just means that I'm even more ancient. <laughs> Anyway, so there you go. Um, bikes are all running. Uh, I actually bought all the stuff to do a service on the V rod, but I've just realised that I need to do another about another thousand k's first. But the electric glide is pretty much due for service, which I'll do next weekend. Um, that's the uh, only downfall of owning so many machines. You need to keep them all maintained, and keeping them all maintained at once is kind of tricky. But as you can see, the sports is running. So I will do a vlog on it once it's registered and we'll go for a ride and hopefully um, everything goes well. I expect it to be more oil leaking out of places that shouldn't leak oil but then again it, it has sat for a long time. So in that, in all due fairness the, um, the bike's not fair up too bad even though I did take it for a squirt around the block the other week. But the brakes definitely needed addressing, and I'll see how they go. Um, they may need to be roughed up. The discs may need to be roughed up a bit, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyway, hopefully you'll join us tomorrow on our vlog to uh, Lobethal, and um, yeah, in your face, so to speak.